Focus on the intestine, focus on liver, focus on probiotics, good bacteria, vitamin E, fatty vitamins. It's no coincidence that according to the Journal of Cell Biochemistry and Function, fat-soluble nutrients, vitamin A, vitamin E, carotenes are deficient in fibromyalgia patients. It's because it's a fatty issue. It's an estrogen issue and a fatty issue, and they're related. So you focus on fats. If you're dealing with fibromyalgia, this information, if you know somebody who's dealing with fibromyalgia, this information is the most powerful and invaluable information they will ever hear about their condition. If you have fibromyalgia, use progesterone cream, use pregnenolone, use your ultimate EFAs, focus on fat absorption by using your ultimate enzymes after all your meals, get on lecithin. Lecithin is phenomenally, phenomenally helpful and important for nutrition and for good health and for fat metabolism and for fibromyalgia patients. And take your fatty vitamins and your lecithin together. Vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day. Vitamin E, 400 IU a day. Make sure you're getting out in the sun. Make sure you're using your BioLumin nightly essence and eating fermented foods. Fasting. If you want to see how powerful eating and, and digestive health is when it comes to dealing with fibromyalgia, fast for 24 hours. Do a swear of the cleanse. Go get yourself some Swero V. Call 1-866-735-2470. Tell them you want the Swero V cleanse. And they'll send you some paperwork and they'll explain you how to do it. It's real simple. You just do a bottle of Swero V every couple hours, half a bottle an hour or so, for 24 hours or 36 hours or 48 hours or 72 hours. Two or three days, one day, half a day. As you put less food into your, into your digestive system and ultimately into your blood, you'll have less toxicity. And don't forget about the, uh, the progesterone cream either, or the pregnenolone, either one. Pregnenolone, P-R-E-G-N-E-N-O-L-O-N-E, -E -E, pregnenolone, 100 milligrams a day. Or don't forget about bile, bile salts. Now you'll get some in the Ultimate Enzymes, but bile salts can be really helpful for fibromyalgia patients. Again, take your bile salts and your Ultimate Enzymes with your fatty vitamins and your fatty uh, and uh, fatty foods as well. So, fibromyalgia, five million people suffer from it needlessly. If you know anybody who's suffering from fibromyalgia, have them listen to this archive. All right, so vitamin E's fat protection effects are not just for the nerves, they're not just for the brain, they are certainly important for the nerves and the brain, but they're also important for the skin. This can be very helpful when it comes to, uh, to sun worshipers. In fact, you can reduce, dramatically reduce, the impact of sunburn and not even get sunburn if you do things correctly. You don't stay out in the sun too long and you use vitamin E. Vitamin E will reduce the impact and, and the incidence of sunburn. So you'll get less sunburn and, uh, and you may not even get any sunburn if you do it correctly. Vitamin E is uh, also for the, important for the eyes for the same reason. Vitamin E is an energy dampening vitamin. It sucks up excess energy. So the spark, think of, think of excess energy from, from light or from the sun as being sparks. Vitamin E mops up those sparks. It makes it important not just for skin health, but also for eye health. And eye, in protecting your eyes from the sun and protecting your skin from the sun is very similar because in a way, the, the, skin, the eyes are a type of skin. They're, it's actually called epithelial tissue, and the skin, the surface of the skin anyway, is called epithelial tissue, tissue as well. So macular degeneration is a type of sunburn, for, uh, sunburn of the eyes. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're coming back with your phone calls at 844-236-6010. Right after this, don't go away. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7, on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com. Or, I'm sorry, BenFuchsArchives.com. You can also check out our blog, PharmacistBen.com, or CriticalHealthNews.com. You can order products off all the websites or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team as well. From the journal, Archives of Dermatology, Evaluation of the Photoprotective Effect of Oral Vitamin E Supplementation. Using vitamin E for... It's photoprotective benefits from uh, this one from, where is this from? Uh, uh, the, from the Photosynthesis Research Group. Evidence for the photoprotective effects of vitamin E. The antioxidant vitamin E may protect 
both animal and plant cell membranes from light-induced damage. From the journal Brain Research, neuroprotective effect of vitamin E in the early model of Parkinson's disease. From the journal uh, Skin Pharmacology and Physiology, photoprotection of UV irradiated immune skin, antioxidants, vitamin E and C, selenium, and carotenoids photoprotect. I'm telling you, guys, this stuff is so cheap, too. This stuff is like a penny a day, two pennies a day, five cents a day. If you're not supplementing with vitamin E, you are totally missing the boat on the most protective, fat-protective nutritional supplement you could ever use, especially considering it's, uh, it's inexpensive nature. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. This is your Common Sense Nutritional Program. Let's go to our phones, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Garima, what's going on? My friend Garima in Texas. Garima? Garima, you there? No? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, I hear you. you hear yes, me? yes, I hear you okay. now. Hi, Garima. Hi. Uh, hey. I wanted to ask you about my parents. Uh, I, I mean, I, I know what you're going to say, but I want them <laughs> to hear it. Um, Are they listening? They're listening. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll give you the the description. My mom has the most problems. She has heart problems. She has tachycardia, which is rapid heart rate and pressure on her heart at least two or three times a day. Every time she uh, gets stressed, loses her temper, walks around, does any cooking, and she has slightly elevated blood pressure. She has uh, she can't walk because her knee. Okay, I get the picture the, here. I get the I get the picture. What's the other one? He What's has rather? bruising also. Bruising. bruising. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. And now she's what? Taking Plavix, and she's taking statins. <laughs> and my dad had also had a bypass. <laughs> and uh, he has hearing loss. He his eye twitches, which I told him he needs to take magnesium. And he has also some memory loss i think okay um, let's let, anyway. you, let's uh we can stop right there here i get the, i get the picture first of all how old are your parents my mom is 79 my dad is 84. okay so you know we can only do what we could do uh, sometimes yeah. older folks have you know understandably have been living a certain way for eight decades they're not going to turn they things one has forgot uh they, they both have rotting teeth and infected gum they okay lost a lot they're both falling yeah. apart garima yeah. that's all you need to yeah. know they're falling apart they, remember, I, I don't know, you've probably heard me say this. The uh, World Health Organization says there's 12,800 different diseases. There's not 12,800 different diseases. There's one. It's called MBFA disease. My body is falling apart disease, period. Yep. It's the only disease anybody has. My body's falling apart. And it falls apart uh, uh, sometimes, sometimes more or sometimes less, but if you have a chronic degenerative disease, it's falling apart. In your, your parents' case, it's falling apart a lot. So we've got to reverse the process. So first of all, right from the get-go, get them on the healthy, if they're serious about this, get them on the healthy start pack, have them sip on the BTT. This is in the interest of metaphorically stopping the bleeding. Okay, that's the first thing you got to do. These guys are, are leaking. Their, their life force is leaking out. And at this point, there's not a lot left. Do you understand me, Garima? This, I you see, okay, their chi, if you will. Their life force is leaking out. Your parents will understand this. Uh, and yeah. we got to stop the bleeding. Immediately get them on the BTT and the healthy star pack, sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Then understand, uh, have your mom understand that her tachycardia and her heart issues and her high blood pressure issues are all signs of dirty blood, period. And the boneheaded strategy of giving Plavix and statin to an already toxic system is unspeakably idiotic, unspeakably. Yeah. However, at this point, she doesn't have any choice. This, this, these are emergency measures. Plavix you being a power. Hang on a second, ma'am, Gareem, just one moment. Plavix is a major, major blood thinner. So what does that tell you? It tells you her blood is all sticky and cloggy and dirty and polluted and trashy and filthy and, t and toxic. And I'm being graphic intentionally. So the, the strategy of thinning the blood artificially, pharmacologically, is fraught with danger. Because the blood is trying to, the body's trying to protect itself. That's why it's clumped. That's why the blood is, is clogged up so the crap doesn't get delivered everywhere. Now you thin the blood, and now all that crap is spread out throughout the body. How do you stop this thing from happening? Food, digestion. So this is where it becomes tricky for a 79-year-old or an 80-year-old person. They're not going to want to change the way they eat. Now, if she is yeah. one of the rare ones who's serious about her health, she has 30 more years to live, you know, or yeah. more. 
if she does this yeah. correctly. If not, yeah. she'd rather have her, uh, you know, the food she's eating. Understandably, I'm not beating her up. It's very understandable. Then you're, it's going to be a lot trickier. But if she can, support digestive health by limiting the amount of food she eats. She doesn't need a lot of calories at this point unless she's in the gym, which she should yeah. be. Okay? She right. doesn't need a lot of calories. She needs a little calories, very little, and a lot of nutrition. So intermittent fasting, eating less food, focusing on protein and vegetables, living vegetables. Now, I take it you're Indian, right, Garima? you in Indian yeah. gal? Your parents yeah. are Indian, so they're probably eating lots of mushy carbohydrates, comfort foods, right? Overcooked veggies. And All of that. Yes, exactly. This is what, the, the, if, you know, for some reason, there's probably cultural reasons why Indian food tends to be mushy and, and, and uh, stewy and uh, carbohydrate rich so she's gonna have to switch that around and go into the living protein sprouts wheatgrass you know anything that's living food i'm sorry or was a live food go ahead i'm sorry karima she can't chew anything right now because she, she can't even chew juices get her wheatgrass juice get her a vitamix have her do soups vegetable soups have yeah. her do smoothies protein smoothies the ultimate daily get her in on a re get her do some brisk walking something to stress her body a little bit you know, the muscles a little bit force her body to grow and by the way same with your dad it's the same yeah. exact issues they're both just falling apart now blood yeah. sugar is going to be important oxygenation have her practicing her deep breathing techniques that's going to be important but for the most part you're dealing with an emergency a replacement of nutrients that's your healthy start pack and emergency control over the digestive system by controlling food and the bioluminite nightly essence and fermented food would help too what kind of fermented food do indians eat i'm sure there's an indian native you know there's lusty i give her lusty uh, that's that's the one she likes Spell it. Spell uh, it for me. Gets spell it, gas. Garima. Smell, spell lusty, you said? Lusty is basically buttermilk. It's uh, fermented milk. It's uh, Okay, good. Beer. Good. How do you spell lusty? L-U-S-T-Y? L-A-S-S-I. Lusty. Lassi. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. I've seen it on menus. All right, Garima. i got to motivate. Does that help you? Sip on the BTT. I, if she wants to do something right away, sip on the BTT. Uh, it'll make a huge, huge, huge difference and very quickly. Sip on it, though. Okay, and, and then have her doing the deep breathing techniques and then all the other stuff we just talked about. All right, Garima? She can't absorb anything. Yeah, yeah. No, that's why you liquefy. She's not going to absorb. Yeah. She's going to have problems. But liquefy. Always liquefy. All right, God bless you, my dear. Have a beautiful day. We'll talk later. All right, hang tight if you're on hold. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we will be back with more good health information right after this. On the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Jason in Colorado. Good morning. What's up, Jason? Hi, Ben. Hey, what's cooking, hey. buddy? Where are you? I'm, uh, Where I'm are in you Johnstown, in actually, Colorado. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. What do you do out there? I actually run a uh, logistics business and a real estate company out in Johnstown. Very cool. I'm sure real estate in Johnstown must be booming. It is getting pretty crazy in northern Colorado, that's for sure. I'm that's also uh, a team member of yours. Uh, oh, nice. It's been for a couple of years. So Have we met? You know, no, but we've talked before. One time you actually called me, you were very generous and called me, um, and we talked a little bit about uh, asthma and uh, allergies. I remember it. That was a few years ago. That was a few years ago. Yeah, I remember that. So how you doing? What's going on today? I'm, I'm doing great, man. I, I just appreciate everything what you do. You're changing lives out there. Um, God, I got a list of things, but I want to be brief because I, I want to respect other callers also. But okay. my wife, she's a, she's a runner. She's run okay. a few marathons. Okay? okay. Last year, she ran the Rock and Roll Marathon, and um, they confused the marathon. There was a bunch of people that actually didn't finish the marathon because they did not have it uh, flagged properly. Okay. And ever since then, okay, so she took on that. It was like a big rush of anxiety. And so that, since that happened, um, there's been so many symptoms that she's been experiencing. So she got a really tense, stiff neck. Of course, we went to the doctor. He had us go through all these MRIs and everything. <laughs> and it came back where she, she had some bulging. According to him, she had some bulging discs. But okay. I feel he was just trying to push his stem cell treatments, which were $10,000 each on us. He's trying to get us Unbelievable. to pay for that. Unbelievable. So she's been dealing with so many different things over the last few years. Um, the big thing right now is anxiety, but 
Okay. You know, heavy, heavy, painful periods for short uh, three days, 